Guys, become unconquerable. What do I mean by becoming unconquerable? Well, we're going to go back to the Stoics. They left us with this philosophy, the incredible philosophy of Stoicism that is absolutely timeless, uh, can be applied at any time and throughout history, can be applied to the future generations and especially to men. I think it's more so for men, certainly to women as well, but I think it's more practical for men. I think it's the most practical philosophy. And one of the things they preach is becoming unconquerable. Now I'm going to give you an example of what it is to become conquered so we can understand more what it means to be unconquerable. So for example, let's say someone uh, insults you. Someone says something about you. I don't know what they could say. They could call you ugly or stupid or whatever. I don't know. Whatever it is. They just insult you. And you think about that. You're bothered by that thing that they said for one minute, five minutes, one hour, one week, one month. It doesn't matter the time period, but it bothers you for a certain period of time. That person has conquered you. That has got through your defense mechanisms, your defensive lines inside of your mind and penetrated through them and got straight through to the core of you and left you bothered and bothered and upset and in a negative frame of mind for an extended period of time, they've conquered you. Another example would be, let's say you turn up to work and the boss says, hey, hey Ryan, step into my office. Five minutes later, you step out of that office, a fired individual. You've been sacked from your job and now you are upset, you're angry, you're confused, you're scared, etc. You have been conquered. It's not the act that makes you, that has you conquered. It's not what the person does to you. It's how you act. That's how they conquer you. Because listen, the world is a crazy place and you cannot control the variables. You cannot con control the external variables that happen to you. In most cases, you can't control the things people say to you and the way they act and the things they do to you and life circumstances. So much of it is out of your control. What is in your control is how you react to those occurrences, those circumstances. Now, the, the Stoics understood that this is not a perfect process here. You cannot be perfect. You can never, something cannot happen to you and you just have zero response at any given moment. You know, the moment something negative, yeah, in inverted commas, happens to you, you're going to have an emotional response. Emotions are sort of a, a reflex at times, okay? So to feel an emotional response in the immediate moment something happens to you is normal. That's human. You're a human being, okay? But there's something deeper. There is a, there's something beyond that. We can control our emotional response. We can become aware of our emotional response almost immediately. The more you practice this and then override that immediate emotional response and become neutral to it or even view it in a positive way or whatever it is. So someone could say something to you and yeah, you might have a flinch. There might be a sort of boom, emotional response, but the more practice you are in this mindset, you can override that straight away. Ah, okay. It doesn't matter what he says. I am not going to let him penetrate me in here and me in here. This is not going to bother me for one second longer. Boom, forgot about it. Nothing I can do and control it. That's being unconquerable. That's being unfuckable with. You get fired by your job, boom, the moment you step outside of that office, okay, what can I do now? Can't get my job back. Nothing I'm gonna do about it. Shit happens. All right. What am I gonna do about it? Let's find a, let's find a solution. Boom, you're unconquerable. That boss or ex-boss has not conquered you. He's fired you. He's changed your life circumstances, but he hasn't changed this. And guys, I swear by this mindset, by this philosophy, it's a game changer. And it takes practice. This, like I said before, the Stoics know, you know, we cannot be perfect. It takes practice. We're only human. But the more you practice it, the better it gets. The more you can override that immediate emotional response you gotta you gotta view it as like different lines of defense 
and that emotional response maybe that is the first feeling you have that emotional negative response okay but there's another defensive line that you have to overcome and it ain't going to penetrate that next defensive line and then the more you do this the more you practice this the more you understand that okay sometimes it's okay to feel this emotion Sometimes I, this is a moment where I need to express this, where I need to overcome this. I need to use this a negative feeling and put it in something productive. Sometimes I need to let this anger out, whatever. If you don't overcome it and implement this strategy, you will just become a whim. You will just become a slave to your emotions all the time. And your emotions will take you on a ride that you don't want to go on. It will take you up, down, left, right, in, out, all over the place. And people will be conquering you all the time. Circumstances will be conquering you all the time. So the more you practice this, the more you realize when you can apply this. And when you don't need to apply it. When it's actually good and healthy that, hey, wait a minute. All right, fuck it. I need to vent right now. And trust me, though, the more you practice this, the less you will want to do that. The less you will find the need to vent. The less you will feel the need to express the emotions. And the more pride you will feel in yourself in becoming unconquerable. Because we're to, we live in an age where we're taught men should express their emotions and how they feel and not bottle anything up. And I say, yes, sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. Otherwise, we're just, what are we? We're just children. Children express every emotion that they feel in the moment. We're adults here. We're men. Life is hard. Life will throw things at you. Circumstances will change. People will try to get to you and fuck with you. But you have a choice. And that's what the Stoics are saying. You have a choice to everything that happens to you. You have a choice to how you react. And if you choose the right path, if you choose calm, if you choose power, you, you have an action here. You have a choice to make. What is the action you're going to choose? And you'll choose the positive path. You are unconquerable. So guys, I call to you to practice this mindset. I challenge you to practice this mindset, to implement it. And I promise you, if you do that, and you work on it, and you improve, your life will be so much better, and you will be feeling so much better about yourself. You will have a lot of pride, a lot of confidence. There will be less fear. You won't fear what the world has to throw at you, because you'll know you're the one in control. No one can get in here. Good luck, guys.